iRock Radio, the world headquarters of Rockets. Mike Caroli at the Toyota Oakdale Theater in Wallingford. And today, a special video version of Six Concert Questions with Caroli and Coplick. I'm Caroli, and this is Jim Coplick. How are you? I'm doing really nice. This is very different for me. I like this. Come to your home, and thank you for having us here. And, uh, I appreciate you coming down. So I've got a bunch of questions, as I always do, and uh, we'll see what's going to happen this fall and into winter and maybe even spring of 2017. Sound good? Sounds great. So there's so many bands that are putting out big albums as we close out 2016, and that just leads us to believe there's going to be a lot of touring at the end of this year and well into 2017. So my first question to you is about Green Day. They just put out a, a big album. First single is out on iRock Radio right now. And I know that they were talking about touring fall of 2016, but what can you tell us about their touring plans and whether they'll come to Connecticut or not? We think Green Day is going to tour next spring. Uh, we're talking to, them about, talking to them about Mohegan Sun. I think you'll see it sometime March, April, or May, uh, but they are going to do a very, very extensive tour uh, all through the United States. One band that we're hoping will put out a new album in 2016 is Tool. And it's been about 10 years since they've released a new album, but they still do touring business. I mean, they sell a ton of tickets when they decide to go out and play these shows. We're just, we don't know what the order will be. Will there be a new album and then a tour or what? What can you tell us about Tool? Any chance of getting them not only to tour, but to come to Connecticut? Nothing at all in the Northeast. I, I'm in full agreement with you. New album, great. Don't need a new album. They're so big, they don't need an album. Sometimes when an artist stays away, they really get p more popular, and if they put out an album, and if it's not as popular as our other albums, bad move. I don't think Tool would fall into that category, but nonetheless, I think that uh, um, from what I hear, Tool is going to tour next year. Uh, it's going to be the second half of the year, and it is um, more likely to hit most of the country. Uh, they seem to pick little pockets of the country to tour in, and then they get off the road. Uh, uh, but it's really still anybody's guess. So 2016 marked the return of Red Hot Chili Peppers. They got a new album out. We're playing Dark Necessities on iRock Radio. They played Rock on the Range to kind of kick off the spring concert season here in North America. But they haven't really done a lot of touring of their own, coast to coast, Red Hot Chili Peppers headlining tour. But I would imagine with the album out and all this, I mean, it's time to do it, right? So what's up with Red Hot Chili Peppers and their touring plans? I think you'll see them. Um Trying to work on a date in Connecticut. It, if it happens, it'll be in February of 2017. I don't know if it's going to happen. We're having trouble. Uh, we're looking at the Excel Center, uh, but we're having trouble matching dates that they have available with dates that the Excel Center has available. So I'm hopeful that we'll see them, but I would say it's not much better than 50 50 at this point. But it doesn't mean the second time around we won't be able to get it done in Connecticut. I don't think there's a bigger band for iRock Radio than Metallica probably our biggest core artist. They were at CCC, they are with iRock Radio, and they finally came out with a new album. We're playing Hardwired on iRock Radio, and everybody is now waiting for the tour. They just played the new Minnesota Vikings Stadium out in uh, Minnesota. Well, and that's just the beginning. They've promised to do a worldwide tour, but when will they come to Connecticut, and what are your thoughts on Metallica? Well, I think it's been 20 years. I think 1997 was the last time they played Connecticut. Um, I looked quite different back then. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> right. But nonetheless, uh, it was 1997, I think. They played the, uh, uh, the XL Center, which was then the Hartford Civic Center. Uh, they are doing a big, giant tour next year. I think you'll see them in arenas in the cold weather. You might see them in stadiums in the warm weather. Uh, as far as Connecticut's concerned, I would expect that we would have them either at the XL Center or Mohegan Sun. I don't think you'll see a stadium show. Uh, in all honesty, uh, the Rensselaer Field is a small uh, football stadium and doesn't really appeal to any artist to play in a stadium that small. So uh, I think you'll see them next, next year, 2017, somewhere in Connecticut. I can't imagine they're going to skip Connecticut this time around if they're going to do an extensive tour like they're planning to. So I think you would agree with me, the surprise tour of 2016 has been Guns N' Roses for a number of reasons. It's surprising that they reunited with some of the original members, Duff and Slash and Axel, of course. It's also surprising that uh, they get along well enough that they're able to do a stadium tour this summer all over the United States. But I'm wondering, with the momentum of the tour and the fact that they're getting along so well, will they snowball this into maybe a fall or winter tour in arenas around the United States? What are your thoughts on that? 
I understand that they are going to continue the tour uh, in Europe. Uh, they've played some South American dates already. Uh, and you're right, they are getting along great. I think that it's likely that they'll tour further into 2017 than planned. Uh, they are, it, it's just, the sets have been great. The reaction from the fans have been tremendous. That doesn't really surprise me. They are one of the great live rock bands of all time. Uh, and Slash is one of the great guitarists of all time. Axel is one of the great front men of all time. It doesn't surprise me at all. With the success that they're seeing, and I agree with you, it's surprising how big they are selling out stadiums over and over again. It's going to end up being one of the top 10 tours of the year. Uh, I would think that you're going to see them in 2017. If they do, hopefully it's arenas. If it's arenas, we'll really work on the XL Center or Mohegan Sun, one of the two. So my last question for you is about a band that you've done a lot of business with over the years, and I think you've worked with them pretty much from the beginning of their career, and that's Aerosmith. And I remember seeing them at the Springfield Civic Center one night, and the next night maybe at the New Haven Coliseum, and they played the Xfinity Theater or the Meadows at the time, and they played pretty much every venue in Connecticut. But now they're announcing a farewell tour, which is bittersweet in a lot of ways because Love to see Aerosmith play live, but it's sad that it would be the last time, kind of like Black Sabbath recently. So maybe you can give us some of your memories of Aerosmith and, and the business you've done with them over the years and talk about the farewell tour. Very and beginning of their career, they opened up for the Mahavishnu Orchestra <laughs> at Trinity College <laughs> in 1972, I think it was. Sounds right. Yeah. And uh, it was the dumbest bill in the whole world. You got this <laughs> jazz guy headlining, and you have this rock band from... Boston opening up, but they were amazing. I remember seeing them and how amazing they were even back then. Mm -hmm. Young, hungry guys, um, sort of like I was in 1972, <laughs> young, hungry. Uh, but uh, we used to do a lot of shows that we double, double, uh, double them up. We do a show in Sp Springfield, and then we do a show the next night in New Haven, or in New Haven, and then the next night in Springfield. Uh, it wasn't until the mid 80s that they finally played Hartford because we just loved the rock building in Springfield and the rock building in, in New Haven. Uh, and, uh, and as I said, I remember the first time I saw them, they were really young bucks back then. And then uh, I remember the time that uh, Joe Perry dropped out of the band and we had him at the West Hartford Ballroom, the Agora, whatever oh, that's man, called right. out there. <laughs> and uh, we couldn't even sell tickets. And I, was, I remember sitting backstage talking to the manager and saying, I don't get it. The guitarist isn't in the band, but the lead singer's still in the band. Why, why, why aren't we uh, selling tickets? But it's the unit that needed to be together. And then they got back together and they exploded again with Permanent Vacation. And they're more pop hits. It went from a blues rock to real pop rock. Uh, and their career has expanded. And, you know, in Connecticut alone, it's well over 40 years just in Connecticut. And you're right, they are going to, they've announced their final tour. 2017 probably will blow into 2018, I would think. They're that popular. We will bring them back into Connecticut. My expectation is uh, you'll see them at Mohegan Sun. So this has been fun. Thanks for having us in your home here at the Toyota Oakdale Theater in Wallingford. And thanks for spending some time answering some concert questions. So this has been six concert questions with Caroli and Coplick here at the Toyota Oakdale Theater in Wallingford on iRock Radio.